why don't I know who any of these people are? Okay, let's go for a stiff Karakan here. And uh, with the same uh, sort of exchange variation that I won with famously on stream last, last uh, time that I streamed. Losing this tempo with the bishop looks a bit strange, but also the black setup is not too too impressive, I think, with the bishop on g7. Should I take that? Let's go knight b3. I don't know why, just avoid the exchange maybe. I'm not worried about e5, I'll chop that off and then put the bishop on e3. Yeah, I'll go bishop d3 now. Knight d6, then I go bishop f4. Get nice development. Here, maybe h3. I'm hinting at g4 or knight h4. Question is how long my opponent can keep this waiting game going until he goes e5. Realistically, I don't have much here though. Okay, that's interesting. Should probably go knight h4 now. Go and grab a pawn. I'm not thrilled about it though. Has to be said. I'll go back. And I think my opponent has very reasonable compensation here. Not like he's better or anything, but it seems fine for black. Knight e5, I got bishop f. Sorry, bishop f4. Not allowing him to settle on some juicy light squares. f6 was a little bit annoying. He's got a little bit more activity now than I would have liked. Usually try and win my games without too many, too much, too many tactics. So thus, should I go bishop g5 first maybe? Hoping that rook doesn't have a lot of good squares. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So thinking if bishop f4, queen moves like to f7, I probably have to take and then go for f3, but I wasn't thrilled about that. Thinking a lot. I should have a big room with a seaside view. Oh, what do you think? What do you think I have in uh, the other room? Uh, queen b3 probably. It's hoping that knight e4 would be good here. D5, rook c5, yeah, bishop b7, bishop b6, that doesn't work. I think I have to take this. I'm thinking if f4, d5, queen f2, king h1, bishop b6, maybe got knight g4 attacking the queen. Yeah, knight d3, I saw that, but now I can, at the very least, go knight f6. Gets the exchange, but I have two pretty, pretty good pawns for it. So I should be doing fairly well here. Maybe I should go c4. Nah, c4, c4, c4 is going to be hanging. So I'll go here. Doesn't really have any useful. Um, yeah. Okay. So he offers me a draw, but he's done well here. He has a good position, but at least practically, I'm never worse here uh, since his king is really weak and I have a solid position. And besides, he has no time. So, don't think declining this draw is particularly. It's a particularly risky proposition, let's say. And now, push f6, and the game is over. Queen h8 can't be protected. Very interesting game, I have to say. Uh, he made a good pawn sack and then gave back the change, which I think was a decent practical decision. And he did well for a while, but 
realistically, he was never going to defend this position. 